an abundance mindset is that like I can give generously and I can give my time and money and energy and resources because there's so much more out there that's coming. One thing for me that's specifically important about giving, and, and when I say giving, I'm talking about like giving financially, whether it's like actual money or by yep. doing something for someone that costs money, is it it flips a switch in your brain and it creates a environment of abundance. Because if you're sure. able to give, that means you are telling yourself, I have enough and there is overflow of what I have mm -hmm. to be able to give to somebody else. But the act of giving, the act of giving ultimately shows gratitude for what has been given to you, but it also shows that you're in a place, that you're in a mental state of abundance because you know that exactly like Neil uh, Elliott just said, scarcity is not a good place to operate, that you know that if you are operating in a place of abundance, that by giving, you know, you know that there is more coming your way. Like when I was really struggling and broke and in debt, like I never went without, right? Like I was never not provided for. Like I always had food, I always, somehow made things work and so many times like I've I've given and then things have happened almost to the penny where I've gotten it back like like you know gave when it like when you give and it's a little uncomfortable like like ah, I know I want to do this but man it's kind of uncomfortable I don't know if I should and you give anyway sometimes where I'm like, I have something that pops up that I'm like, crap, I got to pay for this medical bill. I didn't realize like it's, you know, $642. And then all of a sudden I randomly, like, I think I'm going to have to pay extra on taxes in that year. And I randomly get a $642 tax refund on the state. Like, like, like to the penny. You don't give because you think it will result in more coming your way, but you give because you are grateful for all that has been given and all the opportunities that you have around you. I just strongly believe that to whom much is given, much is required. The times where I have benefited the most and been in the most ab abundant, of the most abundant mindset are the times where I have been the most generous. Yep, I agree. One of the most important concepts that you mentioned is just abundance and just that that feeling of abundance like versus scarcity. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably the one, of the, it's one of the most important things that people need to get a grasp on is this idea that there's not uh, one pie and that the piece that you get is now a piece that I can't get. Mm -mm. And that's what I think gets back to why we do this podcast. I want um, you to have the whole pie. You yeah. want to know why? Because I'll make another damn pie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't give to receive, but I've always received and I've always when I'm given given right in the times where I've been less generous I have I have been blessed less but with but with yeah I mean it, and and the thing is there there are people that are listening to this right now or watching this right now and you know they may not be someone that goes to church they not be may not be someone that has a relationship with God and there have been times in my life where I've gotten pushback from from other people even within the church in regards to giving, in regards to tithing, and how it's, you know, actually the Old Testament and this and that, and it actually meant this, and 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 I would always just respond, that's fine. Yeah, it's just something that I'm gonna do. And my question to them is always, tell me a little bit about your process for giving on a regular basis to whatever you feel is important to give to. But just the simple act of giving tells yourself subconsciously that you have plenty, that there is plenty more coming where That's that right. came from, yep. and that there is so much so that you have the ability to go and let that overflow into other people. That's right.